folks, before you paint the wood, actually stain, we're staining. Before you stain the wood, stuff the surface. When it's clean and broom from all debris, grab your sample paint, your paint can opener, put it in the can. Open the can, right? Once you open the can, like tuna fish, take the top off, put it somewhere, anywhere, out of the way, there, perfect. Take your sample paint, pour it in your dirty clean container. This is Stonehenge. Take the entire sample and paint the wall. Saturate your, your quarter inch roller nap and paint the wall. Stain, stain the wall or staining, waterproofing and staining. Okay. Do a good job. It's a lot darker of a color. It's very noticeable. We'll see what the customer thinks. You just want to dip the roller See, this is very wet. So a little goes a long way. So dip the Dip your roller in your container, your tray, while also cleaning off any excess paint. Okay? Now I'm looking at it, I'm making sure it's clean and ready to go. And just go ahead and roll it on. I happen to love painting. I happen to be very good at painting. Well, I happen to be very good at a lot of the things that I do, or else I wouldn't do them. So this is the sample area. Three boards, we're going three boards down. Make sure your sample area is separate from the other colored area. Right? And every time you paint, constantly and consistently look at the surfaces you've already painted so you can clear any kind of runs or any imperfections as you go. It's not rocket science, folks taking a product or material and you're moving it from one surface to another. How you do that, it's up to you, right? You want to finger paint? Dip your finger in and put it on, right? Just do it. Have confidence in yourself. Believe you can. And do it. Don't think. You just do, right? So that's how you do that. Let it, let it dry and uh, you wait for the customer and if she likes it, then we deliver her and exceed her expectations, okay? Also, when you're painting this wall happens to be individual pieces of 4x4 four four wood. So as they're stacked on top of each other, there's gaps being created. Gap, gap, gap. You get the idea. So you'll need a brush to go in between the gaps. Okay? So I have to go found a, find a brush. I found one. It looks like somebody was using this to dig holes, though. We'll use it. Clean it off. This is only a sample area. Clean it off. Scrub the paint in there. 
stain. Spread the stain then. Again, we're only applying the color so the customer can make a decision on whether she likes dolphin gray or she likes, or actually no, this is called Stonehenge gray. This is called Cape Cod gray. I just make up names as I go. Because I can, so can you. So, when you're done with the brush, put it somewhere out of the way. Forget about it. Okay?